What is up guys, my name is Meeps and welcome to today's video. So today things are going to be a little different. Uh, we're not going to be doing any video today about getting better at League. Today we're just going to make one or talk about how to actually make your game look better. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me, how do I make my game look so colorful and uh, so smooth, etc. Uh, so today I'm going to explain to you guys what I've done in order to make uh, make my game look more interesting. And I feel like it's something that really adds some extra depth, especially uh, if you are recording videos or something else, then it can look really good to add that extra like color vibrance to your game. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today, uh, since I had a lot of comments asking me to make this. So first of all, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to the desktop. If you have an NVIDIA card, this is super easy to do. Uh, I'm unsure if you can do something similar with AMD. I've never had an AMD card, so I don't personally know. But otherwise, I do believe that you can use the other program uh, that I have in mind. I'm going to show you guys two methods uh, to add this extra colorfulness to your game. Um, the first method is, is, is the easiest one, and it doesn't require you to download anything if you have an NVIDIA card. The second one is what I personally recommend you guys to use because this means instead of changing the colorfulness in the whole Windows and all your other games, then this one can do it on a program uh, specific level, meaning that if you want more color in leak, then you can add that less color in World of Warcraft and maybe even more color in Fortnite or Call of Duty. I don't know, whatever you feel like. But what you're going to do for the first method is very simple. You, all you do is you right click your desktop, but go to NVIDIA control panel. In here, uh, you can see we have a lot of different op options. We have adjust image settings, blah, 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 blah. What we need to go to is actually what it was on before. We need to go to adjust desktop color settings. Uh, in here, we have something called digital vibrance. And this is kind of like saturation. Uh, is super nice and makes your game look more colorful. It, as a standard, it's on 50%. So what you want to do is you just want to crank this up. Personally, I like 30%. You can, of course, play uh, a bit with it yourself, but I like to add an extra 30%. I feel like that gives enough color, but without making it too overwhelming and too saturated. Uh, but you can do it, set it for whatever you feel like uh, works for you. So if we set it to 80% and then go back into League of Legends, um, then you can see here our game already looks a lot better than it did before. It just, it just looks really, really cool. Like it looks nice and cast or W, bam. The blue color is more vibrant. Everything just looks better. All right, so this is the first method, the easiest one, but as you guys can see, then it also adds it to the desktop, meaning that it looks a bit, yeah, the desktop and all the other programs. Maybe if you're writing a report for school, then it's probably gonna be a bit annoying looking at a Word document that is too colorful. Um, so that's where the other program comes in. So let's crank this back down to 50%, and then we're gonna go to Google. All right, we're just gonna go on to Google. There we go. Whoop. And on Google, you're going to search on digital vibrance in games. The top result is what is called the vibrance GUI, and that's the one we're going to use. So you go to this website. It's also called if you, I'll leave it linked directly down in the description as well. So you don't have to search, but it's called vibranceguri.com. It's a free program. It's super cool. All you do is you click the download for desktop PC and it downloads this program down here. Um, so let's open that one, say show in folder, and this is a zip file. So we right click on it and we extract it. So that's going to leave us with this folder. So inside the folder, uh, there is our program called vibranceguy.exe. So let's open that one. And as you guys see, as we open it, you can click on this outer star vibrance GUI. This is very cool for those of you guys who always wants this on. Uh, in your games, because then this starts whenever you start your windows, which is super nice. So what you can do is you can click this add button. And if you have League of Legends open, you're going to be able to see it here for this right now. I do. So let's click this one and it says, OK, how much digital vibrance do you want in your game? Well, I actually want the 80% because that's what I really like. Say save. And as we go into the game, bam, it is program specific for League of Legends now. And Windows is not in any more color than before, which is exactly what I wanted. 
So let's imagine this program can be used for several different things. Imagine that uh, you want more color in Fortnite as well. Maybe you want less color in Call of Duty uh, and maybe you want even more color in something else. So if you don't have the program open or the game open while you're here, then you can go to add manually and let's say, okay, I'm going to go to my games folder. I have my Modern Warfare here. And then I'm going to say the exe file, this one, I'm going to be like, okay, change this. I want, I want hundred percent more color in Modern Warfare. Boom. So now these two games have different color vibrance. Uh, you can also change the vibrance in windows here. Uh, but usually personally, I would just let that be. But that's all I do. This is how I get more uh, saturation in my games. Um, so yeah, hopefully this kind of answered the question a lot of you guys been sitting with in terms of how do I make my games look so colorful? This is how. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope some of you guys could use it and it was kind of what you expected. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button. And don't forget, guys, if you are not already, then make sure to subscribe down below. And if you want to, if you really, really want to support our channel and help us grow, and maybe uh, this will help us to uh, to go part time sometime in the near future, then you can click the join button next to subscribe. And that is actually going to allow you to uh, to buy a membership, getting a MIPS logo next to your name every time you comment on my videos and uh yeah that's gonna help us towards my goal of someday going part-time on youtube um so yeah if you really feel like supporting me then you are very welcome to do that but it's completely voluntarily uh but i would really appreciate it for those of you who who feel like it but that is gonna be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it as always stay awesome have fun and take it easy guys